Our modern world's hunger for energy is growing constantly. At the same time, the mountains of waste get larger and larger, along with the costs for their removal or recycling. New sources of energy must be developed, while existing ones must be used more efficiently. Thanks to an innovative recycling process, plastic waste is transformed into valuable oil. In Switzerland, 2,000 tons of plastic waste are collected annually for every 100,000 inhabitants. In industry, trade, construction and agriculture, this figure is even higher, 6,000 tons annually. These plastics can be recycled because plastics recycling begins on a local household level. Valuable plastics waste is collected at communal collection depots. Industry, trade, construction and agriculture operations pack collected goods in designated sacks. These are either picked up or delivered directly to a regional waste centre. At the waste centre, plastics are sorted and prepared for reversion to oil. The first step is the shredding of the material. A conveyor belt carries it to a baling press. Here the shredded plastic is made ready for transport. After delivery of the pressed bales to the plant, all operations are fully automatic. The delivered plastic material is first treated before it enters the reversion process. A powerful shredder ensures homogeneous chips. Foreign or disruptive materials such as wood, paper, metal, glass or minerals are removed using magnets or separation drums for later recycling. Large storage silos enable round-the-clock operation of the plant. Plastics such as polyethylene, polypropylene, polybutane and polystyrene are appropriate for reversion. Chlorine or other halogen containing plastics such as polyvinyl chloride or polytetrafluorethylene are on the other hand not appropriate for this transformation. The chips are fed into the process. In a series of steps, the plastic is melted, cracked and vaporized within the reactor system. The entire process is monitored, controlled and statistically recorded using the latest process control technology. The plastic chips enter the reversion process through a feeding system. In the first reactor, the chips are melted and stirred to a homogeneous mass. As more chips are added, the melted fluid passes through an overflow pipe into the second reactor. Here the liquefied material is heated to temperatures at which the molecular chains of the plastics are broken or cracked. The vapors generated in this cracking step pass from the reactor system into the condensers. Here they are cooled and re-liquefied as product oil. A heating system generates the energy needed to operate the reactors. Uncondensed vapors from the cracking step serve as the heat source for the heat transfer medium. The finished product oil is held in storage tanks. From the end to the beginning. <laughs>